Hello guys, uh, today we will be drawing the layers of the earth. So there are four layers that we will uh, draw here today. The crust, the mantle, the outer core, and the inner core. I'll also include some measurements of the thickness and the radius as well uh, for these layers. And we're going to start, it's a very simple uh, diagram. So, uh, Let's get started. So first we're going to do is just going to make a circle, kind of the full area of this paper that I have here. Um, this is a sketch pad um, with the measurements here, uh, 5.5 inch by 8.5, so 5.5 by 8.5 uh, size. Okay, back in focus here. And um, yeah, so you can use, if you use a bigger one, just um, try to center your circle and make it um, as big as you can and still have enough space on the top and the bottom and and try to make it proportional so I'm using short strokes and keep in mind that since we're using pencil we can always refine the circle it doesn't have to be perfect and I'm moving my paper as I make the circle to help me along the way. Now you can see that I didn't touch the very bottom of the paper and that's okay. I still think my circle is big enough. You just want to make sure it's big enough where you can um, you know nicely see it and then also um, have enough space to label it. Label it like um, large enough where that's also legible to see. Okay, so now I'm going to curve this. So I'm looking at this side here, and I'm going to start curving it up. Again, I might refine the circle a little bit afterwards, but let's just see if we can get a, a base circle shape here. And again, I'm using short strokes to try to help me keep it um, kind of even. And I can see here that this side, now I can probably refine it a little bit, so... I'll probably slim it down a little bit and then you can just use your eraser to fix some of the um, fix some of the edges and whatnot. So now we got our circle. Um, next we want to show um, kind of the earth the inside of the earth. So okay now we can um, make two lines slightly off centered okay so here's kind of the center I'm going to bring it a little bit off center okay and, and you can use a ruler to line it up as well but I'm gonna make a little line at the top a little line at the bottom okay and from the top of this okay I'm gonna curve make a curved line coming all the way around and coming down okay so curve it and then down so let me go ahead and start that again I'm gonna do short short strokes here I don't want to make it curved. It's going to curve out. Okay, and then it's going to curve back in. I didn't really touch um, the bottom here, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to be able to kind of show like if the earth was actually opened up. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to connect this line and this line. So I'm going to get a ruler out here to do that so it looks better. Okay, so again, I'm just going to connect these two points like that, okay? So um, this will be kind of the, this is the outside of the earth here. And then this will be the inside. Okay, so now we're ready to draw the inner core of the Earth. So it's going to have um, one, two, and then three uh, inside, and then there'll be um, um, an outer a border that we'll make, which will be represent the the crust. Okay, so let's start with the inner layers here. So kind of um, in the center, we're going to do the same shape as this um, here. 
I'm going to bring it out a little bit, okay, because we're going to have to have room to put the, the other layer in between this. So bring it out a little bit, as much as you can, um, and still leave enough uh, space here. I'm going to shorten this a little bit to make it a little more proportional. So I'm going to erase this line here. And I'll go back and I'll fix the, uh, the center line. Also, I'm going to fix uh, just the overall shape of this. Refine it a little bit. And this is what happens when you kind of do things freehand. Okay, and then I'll um, I'll fix that in a minute, and then now this one is going to be um, a bigger. Okay, it's going to come like that. So I have a habit of drawing too dark, so try to make it light if you can, and bring this one out further. Okay, and then make sure you're you're touching the bottom point, I'm not going too far past it. If it goes a little bit past it, that's okay. You can always adjust it. Okay. I'm going to fix this a little bit. Bring it a little bit lower here. Okay. Alright, um, and then we're going to make another curve inside here. Okay, try to make it as uh, centered as you can. Okay, and this is also going to just curve out similar to this shape here, but a lot smaller. So this is going to be the inner core here. Okay, now I'm going to delete this, just going to delete, I'm going to erase this line right in the middle in the inner core, but I'm going to leave the the line going through the, you know, top and bottom here. Okay, make this curve and touch. All right, and then again, I'm going to make a small skinny border around the outer and you can also I since I have some space here I'm gonna I'm gonna start from here for the outer with a crust. Okay? So you're just gonna follow this line, make a thin border. And when I ink and color this, um, I'll I'll uh, put another color here to denote the uh, crust. Okay. And then here I'm just gonna use the inside because we have a lot of space here. And it's going to be a really thin line. Just follow the same, you know, direction of the earth that you made. And, okay. Now, over here, uh, I'm just going to refine this a little bit more. You can perfect it as you go. I need to use a smaller eraser here because I'm just I'm not able to kind of erase the thin lines, but it's okay. I'll just uh, redo the line. It's okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna add um, uh, some of the the continents here. Um, just so when we color it we can see that this is supposed to be like the earth the outside of the earth as we all see it from from outer space uh, 
I think it's like the Mediterranean. And when I color it, then you'll see which part is the land and which part is the um, is the water. I'll probably just use green and blue. That's the same colors that I have in the reference. And I have a link to the reference photo in the description below. If you want to use the same reference. This one I found was pretty simple. So I went with it. Okay, and that should be, oh, I missed one. Okay, so earth, the outside, the inside, and we'll do different colors here. And then I'm going to use my ruler. This is going to be the lines, uh, this is going to be kind of the reference lines where we put Uh, where we mark, we label the label uh, markers or points of reference, whatever you want to call it. Basically, this is where we're going to call out each layer. And then I'm going to be pointing at the the outer layer, which is the crust, okay, right there. Let me fix everything here before we finalize this. And I'm probably I'm probably going to color it first, and then I'll uh, ink the lines. Um, but actually, you know what? I can label it now. So this is the. inner core the radius is 1370 kilometers radius okay this is the outer core which is 2,000 kilometers thick. This area is the mantle, which is 2,900 kilometers thick. And the crust. Which is six to thirty five kilometers thick. Okay, so this varies in thickness. So there's a sketch. Um, now I will color and ink it. Um, I'll speed that part up and then show you the final result. And you can use color pencil, you can use marker. Um, I have some um, of these markers. I have some of these markers. I'll show you. Um, these are Parku art markers. They're pretty uh, good price, and they have two tips. They have this uh, fine tip, and then the broad tip here. So I'll probably use these uh, markers.
So there you have it, the finished diagram of the Earth's layers. Um, I hope you found this useful and somewhat easy to do. Uh, please uh, subscribe for more tutorials and if you have any recommendations on what you like to see, please let me know. Thank you so much. Bye everybody.